you, we, we said we would do this professionally this time. God damn it. We did. I was busy looking for... I always pressed the other button for my emotes. So I look at my phone and that, that throws everything off. I was just laughing at your funny joke. Oh, God damn That's it. why I'm banned from Morrison's. <laughs> I don't think I've got laughed, laughter yet. I've got um, I've got encouraging, so I'm encouraging. I like encouraging. Encouraging the the, the, the jokes there. Um, so yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Ass Town on Tour. It's me, Steenton, and I'm here with the mayor of Ass Town himself, David Thayer, aka Shrink Wrapped. And this hello. week, oh, sh- I should let people say hello. <laughs> I just always want to talk over people. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> oh, how does nin- how does Ninja do it? Um, <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. Fun fact. Um, um, and we're here with our. You can hear her laughing. Our very special guest, Emmy. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Emmy, th- welcome to the show. Welcome to our Thanks our, very much. our studio tent. Thanks for having me. This is a very nice studio tent. We're starting a bit a bit uh, later than usual today, uh, and I want to blame it on the thundery weather we have here on the island. It's been causing a bit of interference with the equipment. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and so you know, it's not at all to do with the fact that you know I was setting up the stream, you know, right down to the, the wire uh, as always. Uh, definitely not to do with that. I want to say hello to everybody in the chat that's coming to chat with us. This evening, Dim's in the chat, who we visited last week, and actually, you know, had a little word in my ear and said, "Hey, you've got to, you've got to go to Emmy's Island next." So that's that's why we're here. That's well, not why we're here. We're going to go to yours later, but first <laughs> up, we got to we got to get in. We got to get in to the news, um, which we will do as soon as I've queued the graphic up. Guys, it's going really badly tonight. It's going really badly. Do it's you know, okay. You're doing your best. Do you know what else went badly? What? <laughs> <laughs> what else went badly? Bunny Day. Did Bunny <laughs> Bunny Day is over? It was. Thank God it's over, right? Fans... Well, I don't know. I kind of now I'm, I'm confused when I dig up something and it isn't an egg. Uh, really? I'm. I, I get excited because it's not an egg. Um, but there's also less to dig up, so that's slightly less exciting. Oh, how did you two, how did you two find the big day? Um, it kind of passed me by. Really, I, it was. I just wanted it to be over. <laughs> I quite like the fact that it actually um, gave everyone opportunity an opportunity to get lots of eggs at the last minute. So if you did really want to do all the stuff. It felt like it was quite generous. Mm-hmm, it felt like mm-hmm. the floodgates had opened again and eggs yes. back everywhere. And so you could do all the final um Get all the, the crafts together. The Hello? um egg crafts were not very nice, I'm sorry. sorry they weren't very all. nice, but they weren't no. very bad either. I thought they were no. much better than the balloon furniture from previous games. Oh my god, yes. The balloon furniture was quite like terrifying and the eggs <laughs> kind of wasn't. Um Yeah. It was fine. I, I, it was just it went on a little bit too long for me, but um, it was a good experience, let's say. <laughs> so on screen right now we have images from um, Hamish's service club member Hamish, Hamish's oh, okay. service uh, to commemorate the end of Bunny Day. Um, <laughs> he hosted a, shall we say, service for Z- Zipper. For Zipper on on his island, so you can see some amazing like images that he took on the screen, uh, the screen right now. And you know, but I I think you know, at the end of the day, Zipper brings us joy. Zipper made Zipper united us at a time where we needed it most and still need it. And I tell you what, if Zipper showed up at my house tomorrow, I'd welcome him with open arms. <laughs> but you'd always keep him in sight, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, I'd never let him out. Once, in, my once side, inside, yeah. he's not allowed by himself. <laughs> go around, go around Who knows house. what he's stuffing inside that zipper? I want to say. Uh... But what's under the zipper head? Is it just loads of eggs or um, twenty-five rabbits? Like, I'll tell you what it isn't. It isn't Tortimer. No, uh, sadly. Oh, Tortimer doesn't Tom have that much energy. 
yeah, but it's not Tom, Tom Nook either. Because he's, no. inside, no. he's inside resident services when it's all happening. I checked. And to- but also, Tom Nook just doesn't have the energy either. It doesn't have the no. right vibe for Zipper. Tom Nook's eyes are constantly at half, like half littered, so he's always half asleep. Why do people think that Zipper is Nook? I've never understood this because this was the this was the case previously too. People have all, people have always suspected it might be Tom Nook, but I'm not sure why. Well, because people think that Tom Nook's in charge of everything mm. and running the show, and, and Zipper also seems to be running the whole event. I'm, that's what I assume is the connection. But so, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get, <laughs> next bunny day. We're going to get to the bottom of this this, this mystery. I can tell Ho us what if it's Rover in the suit? I mean, this feels like the kind of thing that Rover might do. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Rover. But Ro- Rover's such a f- an unsinister character. Rover's like such a warm, welcoming character yeah. when you first arrive in town. I find there's something about Zipper. That's the, name, that's the name of a great rom-com. There's something about Zipper. <laughs> about Zipper. Uh, Dim, Dim imagines that Tom Nook hires his deadbeat brother to be Zipper. That sounds yes. more plausible. <laughs> Absolutely. Dom, yeah. Dom Nook. Dom there's, Nook. A, there's a Nook they don't like talking about. His <laughs> mate is scraping together a living through different, various different odd jobs. And yeah, Bunny Day comes around. Bunny Day's one what of a, them. What a great episode of that sitcom that'll be. You can see the lightning in the tent, by the way. And also, I know, I was just going to say, it's very dramatic. Speaking Blair of, Witch. Uh, speaking of things that are a bit creepy, speaking of Shrinky, speaking of Dim, Shrinky's rocking this very lovely Tiny Town t-shirt. Now, we're still, we're still waiting uh, for our official Tiny Town merchandise. So, Shrinky... Tiny Shrin- Tone? Sh- t- Shrinky's... Shrinky, tiny did you tone? get, did you get a bootleg? I thought this was the real deal. It was on eBay. Were they it selling said... it outside the arena, or were they selling it in the arena? It was kind of well. If it was, if it was, if it was going to be outside anything, it would be outside of any kind of official EU uh, manufacturing guarantees. <laughs> um, as you noticed, that there's some problems with the sleeves. Yes, the sleeves um, still have the. Uh, this the... is like pattern stitches in this is like the ninja turtles t-shirt i got from portsmouth market as as a kid <laughs> uh, where every turtle had uh, had like a had like a mauve bandana um, <laughs> i guess mo- moving on moving on to our next uh I need to cue these up before i try and do the segue there's just like there's just something wrong with me guys i'm not made for this all right that's um, okay speaking of zipper zipper um also they during on bunny day uh joe sparrow torpor dust uh you know he looks like he discovered a giant turd on his island um <laughs> uh, which i think might be a coprolite fossil but you know we wanted to include you know obviously we're very interested in a, in archaeology and uh scatological humor here um and it looks obviously. like it looks like uh you know somebody's somebody dropped a big one in his town and zipper the bunny looks pretty gleeful in the background it's a bit of a mystery Who's behind the poo? Is the poo inside Zipper? Well, it's a pretty big. It's a pretty big one. What do people on the stream think? It's a pretty large one indeed. Um, no, I mean, no. I, I'd say if anyone's ever seen rabbit dropping, this is very big for a rabbit dropping. Yeah, but that's why maybe... it could be multiple rabbits inside Zipper, creating that giant pile of poo. I think that's my theory. I'm sticking maybe... with it. Rabbits, like other animals, aren't supposed to eat chocolate, and this is what happens. Oh. That is true. Yeah, didn't think about that. Ho ask has has pork chop. Shrinky and Ho's cat visited Carcosa. It's the those <laughs> pork chops poos like. Sometimes I'm afraid to report. <gasps> oh. Are they bigger than like the entire cat? They're bigger than that was the, quite big. Then you'd think they should be. <laughs> 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 well, going from, going from cats to hedgehogs, um, Emmy, I hear that you had a special new spined yes, visitor uh, did. arrive at your town this week, your island this I week. Had who who label, was it? Label visited me this week. I've not seen her before. She was very excited to see me. She gave me a hat that wasn't very nice. It's not this hat I'm wearing, which I love. Um, it was like a weird floppy hat uh, and you know you have to be like oh thanks yeah th- that was really nice yeah thanks um and then i just went and sold it i think um, oh i kept my label <laughs> coat I, I also had label for the first time this week and i was like firstly the coat 
you know, the well, coat. I would. I'd be into a coat. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something that I think will make me down with the kids. The coat was ready, kids. Swagalicious. <laughs> um, and course. I'm gonna keep it forever. But I was. I, I was kind. I was surprised to see that. Like to see that label is going by the name label again because you know last time we saw her, she she was known as Labelle. And now she's yes. re- she's returned back to her birth name. Well, she's <laughs> come back from France. She's had enough. Uh, La Belle is over. Yeah, her pretentious phase might be over. Mm-hmm. One question, though. I don't know if this has already been cleared up. But the Abel sisters, what, what are their surnames? Oh. Is, the, is the surname Abel? Yeah, it's got to oh, be yeah, right. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. Mabel, Sable, Mabel. Oh, that's right. Abel, okay, yeah. that's right. I, th- I thought we were getting to a Mario situation. But it's no. Not. <laughs> <laughs> a- label, label. La- label, label. Label, label. Sister, a- sister. Label, sister. Label. <laughs> um, I love... Label, label. Uh, Dim is highlighting um, that she's definitely running a scam of her sisters. The way that she casually gives you the voucher, you can use a, a, oh, air quotes, yes, yeah. any Taylor sw- any Taylor. Also, it's strange as well because when you visit when you visit uh, Mabel and Sable, the kind of you know classic Abel sisters like soap opera is revealed over time. Yeah, yeah. And they mention Label, but then when Label's in town, they don't mention it at all. What's no, the deal they- with that? They're not bothered. It's it's very weird. Um, are they like are they older sister, younger sister, and other sister? Or are they like triplets? So I don't know who the eldest is, but Label is definitely the little sister because I think I think so. I might be wrong, but I think in city city folk, I think it's mm. city folk. They 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 do highlight that she's the. Mm. Very sad story. Um, <laughs> But and Trinky was mentioning that he hasn't seen much of the darkness of Animal Crossing in this one. But you know, obviously, there's that <laughs> sad story. Sable is the my pet Roxy confirmed. Sable is the oldest. That makes sense. She seems more mature. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the question that I asked, a, a question that we asked earlier on Twitter uh, was of course Snog Marry Avoid, Mabel Sable <laughs> Label, Emmy. The choice oh. is yours. Um. I'm gonna say avoid label. I don't really like label that much. Didn't like the hat, not feeling it. Not even the gingham, um, gingham cravat. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I would marry. Wait, who's the one on the machine? Is that, that Sable? That's no. Sable. I think it's Sable. Sable. I'd marry that one because you win her over, and you know she's quite sweet, really. And then snog the other one. Mabel. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the the la- the label appeal is is split. I on the chat is also avoiding label, but but Ed, yeah. Chew Magma, Ed is saying snog label deaf. <laughs> They've all got deaf. their qualities. I like I like they how have all got their qualities. yeah exactly. I like one is shy and reserved, and you know only mm-hmm. opens up when she trusts people. One I is like a people person, inviting, warm, and then you got label who's you know her own person, strong willed. She's out there getting that bread. <laughs> yeah, and she's she's working she's... hard for the money. She stepped away from the family business as well to do her own thing, which is shameful in some cultures. Yeah, like it's still clothing. It's not like she's gone to her own thing and it's the turnips. It's the (laughs) you you know how similar business. Juro dreams of sushi. Yeah. Yes. When there there, there's a split, isn't there? And then there's two restaurants. By you know the mentor and then the Mm -hmm. mentee goes off and oh, I think it's the brother actually. It's that it's the same kind of thing. The brother, yeah. yeah, I feel like it's something like that. Isn't that the deal with the uh, with Puma, Puma and Adidas too? Adidas, we, yeah. We yes. get, we're getting to we're getting we're getting deep into the law of of, <laughs> of, of, of of all kinds all kinds of uh, ateliers. Can you call a sports <laughs> brand an atelier? Who knows? Um, but but come Can but we... also but on that note, speaking of other new visitors to the town, yes. Uh, I hear there's been a lot of activity in Scoots this week, Emmy. Oh, Obviously, we're about to visit shortly. Mm-hmm. But what's been happening? I hear you've had three new arrivals. And, I had three new arrivals and one, well, kind of a new arrival. It's like four new arrivals and one has left. Um, so I had, first of all, Kyle moved in. He's like a cool dog. He wears like a leather jacket, sleeveless leather jacket. Um, and he was there for like two days and I quite liked Kyle, he was camping first and I was like, yeah, yeah, come and stay and then he just came up to me and was like I don't really like it here, I'm gonna go Kyle? Sorry, I'm not cool enough for you, Kyle Um, because I didn't get my Reddit streetwear outfit out all the time so he wasn't into it 
Um, so he left and then I had some phases opening up and um, moved in first. Marina, is that her name? The little pink octopus thing. Um, she moved in, had a nice time, immediately got fleas, which was, I was really upset oh, about. I was difficult like, oh. for an octopus to get fleas. I know. I they were just sliding all over the place. Aqua fleas? Um, is that what sea monkeys fleas. are? Yes, yeah. <laughs> she had a sea monkeys, um, which was quite upsetting, but I got rid of them. Um, and then who else? Doc moved in after that. I really like Doc. He's a blue rabbit with glasses. Um, his house is cool. It's like a library in there. Um, and one day I was way. in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I learned while looking up art of uh, these these villagers that uh, yeah. Doc is representative of the animals in I think this game, or maybe, or maybe this was also the case in in. Um, in Amiibo Festival, it, mm. that, whose glasses have become transparent oh. uh, in, their, in their latest iteration. Sorry, little wonderful little nerdy <laughs> texture fact there for, for, for all my all, all my graphics fans. And an important quality in glasses. <laughs> um, yeah, so he moved in. Uh, he was there for like one day, and you'll see it when we go. But I've got some like a wooded area in my on my island. And I was just walking through there and he was sat there with his little magnifying glass looking at stuff and I was just like, you're so cute. That was, he's, he's won me over. Doc is amazing. Um, and then finally, a little tiny purple squirrel called Static moved in and I didn't like him. He was on an island, a mystery island I went to. Um, but when I spoke to him, he's got like a really deep voice for a, such a tiny squirrel. So I just, he made me laugh. So I was like, all right, Static, you can move in. He's got like lightning bolts on his fur. Um, he's very sweet. So yeah, they've, they've all moved in and got a nice little family now. Um, it's very I mean, good. They, they all look amazing. So just, just, there's a lot of thoughts about these villagers on the chat right now. So, so uh, people are loving, are loving, what's the name of the squirrel again? Static. People are loving static. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry, static there for uh, for, for for the disrespect. <laughs> a lot. Uh, sassy or pe people I know is saying, um, Kyle is hot. Chu <laughs> uh, Chu Magma Mered is saying Kyle's a big tuner. He's an awesome dude. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Uh, Doc looks like he's holding his breath. Ho says. Sammy <laughs> Sammy thinks that st static is statics as if e Evangelion Unit One was a squirrel. You know, we love, <laughs> you know we love Evangelion references in the chat. Um, Sassy's asking. Oh, sorry, people I know. I think I think Sassy has changed his changed his. Uh, it's people I know. Yeah. yeah, I think he's changed changed his um, his user handle. handle. Snog marry and avoid Kyle Doc and Static. I'll answer that. Um, I'm gonna marry. Go I'm it. gonna marry Doc because look at him. Yeah, obviously he's cute. Oh. He's got his checks on. Yeah, Doc's the kind to read you the newspaper in the morning after baking you croissants. Definitely, yeah, definitely. 100%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snog Kyle. You know, he seems relaxed, but I think yeah. he, he's got a quiet confidence that probably, probably belies, you know, good things in that realm. And yeah. uh, and I'm going to avoid static. I'm afraid I mean, he's got a uh, yeah. he's got a wonderful silk bomber jacket on though. He's got weird a weird face, but um, we'll probably meet him if he's not asleep tonight, and I'll let you talk to him because he's got such a funny voice. Nice doodles by Ben uh, comments that Doc has got his top button done up like a good boy. That is true. Of course, he's a bit hipster, but it's like what, he's a good boy. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so right now it's time everybody you you know what it's time for we do it every week it's time for the stalk market update <laughs> stonks the review. it's time, stonks. For, it's it's time been for the stonks, stonks everybody um <laughs> so as you can see on the graph on the screen right now um things got pretty stonks at one point this week like you can see what you're looking at this graph here it is um, a representation of all the uh, the average value across high school clubs. Uh, I, archipelago uh, this <laughs> week, you can see that we've had a we had a pretty like we had a pretty um, uh, middling start of the week. You know, Sunday. I think most people um, ended up visiting a couple of people's islands to get turnips at a the uh, what we think is the is the is the lowest possible 
um, value of a turnip after week one at 90. I think um, I think Tootle Bay, people I know's our island, was one of those islands where that had that, had that price this week. <laughs> so most people picked up between the 90 and 100 range. You know, always recommend picking up turnips at 100 and below. Um, even even as a solo player, it's 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 a very you know it's a very 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 safe play. Um, of course, you know as we all know, kind of mass turnip trading has taken the world by storm. I want to give a big shout out actually to to Gecko and Odele for kind of getting the club organised on the turnip exchange service. Want to give a big shout out to to Jasper who's been helping out so much with the turnip tech. Uh, you know help you know making sure that uh, everybody is you know getting the most out of their turnips which we all did uh, around Wednesday Wednesday p.m. to Thursday p.m. Um, when we had a massive spike all across the club several islands in the archipelago all at once skyrocketed uh, above like 450 um, I think we were all very uh, very grateful that club member Mina allowed uh, a lot of, despite it being her first time of allowing turnip, turnip, uh, uh, mass turnip trading on her island, um, she she let the club all come over, and we made a lot of money uh, on that island. Just want to see, can, can I can I share can I share a picture from San Serif right now? Let's find out. Let's find out if I can. This is very technical shout out to all these wild stream skills that you're seeing we can see it so there's a picture of uh mina in the viking helmet and the monocle classic look um uh which surrounded by the tips that uh fellow high school club members left her looks like she got you know well i'm assuming each one of those bags probably has you know ninety nine thousand belts stacking it so you do the mass i see helmets I see T-shirts, I see Nook Miles tickets on the floor. And that's the kind of situation that, you know, we're running um, in the HSC. You know, thanks to everybody who's been getting together on the Turnip Discord. Um, towards the end of the stream, we'll pop in a link to our, the High School Club Discord, which we do once a week on this stream for anybody that wants to join us. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess that's the Turnip report for this week. Uh, right now I'm at the airport. I've done the thing that I always do. I have not put in the dodo code yet. So you may see that turnip graphic one more time. Uh, so are you two on scoots already? I mean, I'm just I arriving. am. I'm uh, enjoying the overhead view. There's clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. So that's Excellent. good to know. Well, ho- ho- I was just chucking it down this morning. I had to get some yellow... Wellington's off Sammy. She was very kindly sent me that. <laughs> should, should I have bought rain gear? Were- no, it's not raining anymore. Okay. It's stopped. Oh, let's see. So Ho's highlighted on the turnip graphic, actually, that, um, which I don't think I'm just, I don't think I'm going to see now, is that Krabotkin had a mass, had a high average this week, which I think, I think that it did. And loads of people had high turnip averages, you know. Actually. I didn't at all. My, I think it hit a peak low of like 50 today. And it was averaging around like sixty the whole week. It's yeah. not very good. It wasn't a great week for me either. Um, but you know, obviously, you know, I made out like a bandit on Sunset. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Uh, good old Mina. That was that was a great day. Um, I've also I've also now put in the dodo code, so I won't give away any of your secrets, but I will put my gameplay back on the screen. If I wasn't well connected, <clears throat> I would have sold for anything over a hundred, pretty much. Would you? Week. Yeah, because I had such. I didn't even get over hundred. A low average, mm. I, but a couple of a couple of times I got over a hundred. Well, for my, a lot of my new leaf play was. I know that there were turnip, um, there were turnip communities around during new leaf, but for my new leaf play, I you know I, a lot of my gameplay was related to excess excessively buying. So a lot a lot a lot of turnips and selling uh, you know and selling you know like two or two maybe like four rooms worth of turnips at a time mm. um for a oh, very so many turnips a very low increase like i would always buy turnips at a certain price and then sell them for maybe maybe only you know 10 percent above the average but now with mm. all of our lovely friends in the oh no it's madness 
I, I don't buy enough turnips because I don't ever have the money. Like, I just spend all my money on just nonsense on my island. Um, and then I sort of forget. And then on Sunday, I'm like, oh, my God, I haven't bought any turnips. And everyone's going there, like, making two or three trips to get all their millions of bells. And I'm just like, oh, I've got, like, a thousand turnips here. Um, so that's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's, that's the, a humble humble way to play the turnip mm. exchange. Mm-hmm. Ho Ho's asked me if I could turn myself up. Sorry, I was trying to prevent myself from being too breathy. So I've turned my <laughs> mic up and let me know if I sound too breathy or I'm overpowering anybody else. <laughs> Sammy mentions that her turnip prices have been between 40 and 80 all week. She sold the one turnip that she bought at a loss this afternoon for oh, 41 no. bells. <laughs> but just one turnip though. So, oh. you know, you know that's, that's, that, that's, that's what, a, that's what um, pr- prudent thinking will we'll do she didn't invest too much and she didn't make that big of a loss do one last turnip thought um doodles by ben asks was it in new leaf or wild world where you could put place turnips on tables to stop them spoiling i thought that was gamecube but i might yeah, i might be wrong it's definitely an, old, an older game because there was also a different type of um in one of them you could get another type of turnip that you plant in the ground as well i don't know if anyone oh, remembers that. yes oh, yeah That's, i vaguely the red turnip maybe i was just reading something yeah. about that red turnips um, that's interesting. Because I think but, if you didn't have the online connectivity or other people to trade, mm. it gave you a different way of trying to get a bit of income. Oh, yeah, they were, they were bought for us for 1,000 bells. Oh. And they were in Wild World and City, City Folk. And because I'm reading this from the wiki right now, Ricky, the wait, Ricky, the wiki, the wiki the Ricky right Lake. now, I, the Ricky Lake, I can tell you that uh, in Spain they were called Nabarojo. And in oh. German, they were called Rote Rube. Sorry to all the Germans out there. And all, and all the Spanish <laughs> people, too. I can't pronounce anything. Emmy, we're on scoots. <laughs> we're on scoots. Yay. Yeah. Um, yeah, here we are. Wait, let me, I want to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's okay. We're all going to do it. Yes. <laughs> so, Emmy, why, st- yes. why scoots? Why scoots? So, scoots actually it was the name of my town in new leaf as well um and scoots is named after my cat that i have at my mum's house who still is still here with us today um her real name is matilda um but my sister and i called her scoots because she does you know when cats do that run that's like they're really low to the ground and they just run really quickly yeah. she did that everywhere when we first got her and <sighs> she was named after in futurama when fry flies to the sun i think on scooty puff jr like she was scooty puff jr and my older bigger cat was scooty puff senior but she kept the name scoots and she responds to it even though her name's matilda and i just thought it was a funny name for an island so there you go yeah <laughs> that's the story behind scoots speaking of island life who who is this <laughs> to the left <laughs> this one's good. that's tammy i hate tammy what? i invited tammy by accident but let's go and talk you can go and talk to tammy i'll, I'll go and chat chat to, to Tammy. Oh, Tammy. I like how Tammy was checking us out quietly <laughs> from the side. Well, Tammy is one of those um, villagers that wants to be famous, so she's always going on about how she's going to be a pop star. So I think she was like, "Are these are these fans? Are these, are these streamers? Yeah, <laughs> stream. I'd buy I'd buy her records. Would you? I've got I Flora, who's a, who's a trainee pop star. Who, yeah, who I who I love. Um, uh, cool. What, so what would you like to see? I first? think you take us, take us, you you take us wherever you want to go. Like where, 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 where Let do you think, think we should start? Already, we can I'm... start. Let's let's start with my house. Like the, the let's start with the best stuff first. Let's go to my house through the scary witchy woods. Um, so you might have to adjust the like camera because let's go. Let's have a look through the woods. Here's. I love this texture on the ground. It's great, isn't it? I found it. I think it was on Instagram. Um, oh, I how, spend many my di- life how many different living. textures is that? I'll, hang on a sec. It is. I'll show you on my phone. Two, two, eight. Um, it, but it looks really great. It is cool, isn't it? it is, I, I was a bit obsessed with it. It's everywhere. Um, I mean, but his his the spooky. We can do tarot ooh. reading. We can do Ouija board down here on the floor um oh, oh that's a texture too yeah cool. uh, i'm a bit upset so when i'm not like playing animal crossing i spend my life on my phone looking at patterns and textures on instagram usually um through the hashtag i think it's like oh, right. animal crossing patterns and then i just 
my thing is full of constant and it's constantly getting like I'm changing stuff out. You'll see as you uh, explore. Um, the best thing about this woods is that you can't really m make your way around it very easily or keep bashing into stuff. Um, uh, that that's the this... kind that's definitely a kind of like um, trade off when you're doing this mm -hmm. kind of like design that I found is that yes. it, it does often feel like the more compact you definitely because there's so much stuff you want to make you want to try and make it compact so you get more mm -hmm. stuff and more flavor in but then you have that kind of like awkwardness of like bumping into rocks but you know uh -huh. it's so it's so, the vibe it's all worth it for the vibe it's worth it for the vibe and I never get anything from these trees or like from the rocks around here because it's just got no chance um, oh look at these more textures yeah my, so that's like the mossy rocks <laughs> sorry i'm just getting Must my camera a nightmare out trying to find this. fossils in this yeah mood. i i just don't bother i don't even look um if but they're you, there, but they're there. You're, you're quite uh, but, advanced in terms yeah. of your fossil collection aren't you I've got like seven more to get. We should go and look in my museum later because it's looking pretty good. It's a bit spoilery for people who. Well, we as long as we, bones, we're but... giving people warnings. I should say mm -hmm. that as as uh, as David knows already, I have mm. I'm yet to look in my museum. I know. Um, uh, I, I, have, don't have to go I have. I have. No, no, no! I want to. I want to. I okay. have looked. I have looked at my fossil exhibit because when um, yeah. before I got the great tip from. 11 krz who i don't think mm. i don't think is in the chat tonight um they they tip me off to the fact that you can you can record your fossils by checking out yes. in the nook that was catalog. me on the nook machine it was you sorry i thought, yeah. I thought it was Clementine. sorry sorry <laughs> maybe it. maybe you both gave me that tip but yeah that's um, maybe that was the top what was, what top was the tip, tip sorry tip is yeah, if you're looking to catalog um the, the rarer collectibles like fossils records mm. Um, that that kind of thing you can go to the special Your terminal yeah and there's a tab for those items yes mm -hmm. yes okay in the catalog yes oh. all right here's my house it's got a nice wreath that david fair gave me actually it's oh, yeah. nice. by nice you mean creepy oh, yes you've got, you've got well, a tadpole outside aesthetic. Yes, the tadpole I just put there one day, like when I first started, and it's just lived. I wanted it to grow into a frog, and it hasn't. Uh, Doodles by Ben's, um, well, firstly, my pet Roxy is saying we need more slots for custom designs, which you definitely we need do. More, what, sorry? More slots for, for custom designs. Oh, definitely, 100%. Um, I don't like that when you replace them, they just you like get replaced <laughs> i did it by accident i was like oh. my pet roxy um, says she loves the recent door hangers and sammy says that she loves that your parts aren't straight lines it's so nice it must have been a lot of work it was a lot of work it took maybe i think it was like like a couple of hours to get it all right it's a waste of a day um <laughs> it was it's worth it it looks good it looks good um, I mean, that's time you've invested in your island and now of you can, course yeah, you yeah just yeah. enjoy it every day you you, you know you run yeah. around the rest of it does look so good, but you know, it's a work in progress, so it's good. Um, this is my house. Looks it's incredible. Very green. Um, I don't know if you want to look around. The bones, there's a duck, there's a fish here. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I mean, I just, I just don't know where to where to start what what <laughs> when when you were creating this room what was the mm. vibe that you were going for okay so when i first started i was not interested in my house at all um and i was just using it as a dumping ground for stuff and then the sahara gave me that rug with the leaves on on the floor and i was like this is the best rug ever mm. so i basically built the room around the rug so like whenever i saw a plant or i got people to send me plants um and sort of furniture that like matched the sort of color scheme. So I've got this green wall um, and then the brown floor, which is kind of like natural looking as well. Um, so everything kind of <clears throat> matches, um, even the stone stools, which I use to put everything on. Um, they make really good little table. Um, and then the bones, very natural. That was the aesthetic really. Um, let's go in here. I this really love bedroom. your your painting up here is that from the fishing competition it was i think was it jasper gave me that i didn't compete in the, oh, in the thing i caught like seven fish and i was it was really bad i um, think that's one of my regrets now mm, that i know how good some of the fishing the prizes were yeah 
because I'd only got I think I got a rug a fish rug and I was like yeah yeah, yeah this is cool but Fine. now I know <laughs> that there's actually some really high quality goods available yeah that post is beautiful yeah I saw in the, the, I the saw that I saw that Jasper got them all. That's where, in his mm. screenshot, that's where I learned of this great, uh-huh. this great fish print. It's beautiful. Um, speaking of going... that, speaking about prints, I love that you're showing um, some love to to what is now known as Senor KK. Oh my god, my entire house is full of KK slider um, artwork. I think they're so good. Um, I don't know what song that is. I think it's Senor Mariachi. KK. Yeah. Oh, it's called Mariachi Kiki. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, I've this... gone in the wrong room. Which one have you gone in? Whichever one you want in. Oh, we're, no, the, we're in the I north. Was... I just oh, went back. We... Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we came back and forward. Yeah, I'm in the, the top one now. Oh, two um... magma highlights you can customise with different fish. The the print, I assume, that he's, he's talking oh, about. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. So this is the bedroom. It's a very similar vibe to the the living room. This um, is the coziest bedroom I have seen yet. Yeah, I'm really into like just using the candle and the tanks as um, lighting. Um, Mm. Because like when you turn the light on, it's a bit garish. That's Um, definitely something that, yeah, this is this is a great example of it. You know, I I hadn't actually ever considered it until I visited Philippa's Island, where she had kind of done the mm. same thing with her. Mm-hmm. It just it feels so cozy and nice. It really does. Like, it really helps. The the lighting's not very good in the um the the regular lighting. Um, oh, dim yeah, dim it's... dim didn't know you could hang up the KK out. Oh oh dim. Wait until you uh... see my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, as soon as I think I saw, I think it may have been in, on Hose Island. I saw that she'd done that, and I was like, "That's what I'm gonna do." Um, so uh, I just copied basically. And there's also a picture of a fern, which is like another pattern that I got. Oh, that's a pattern, not not KK artwork. No, no, I don't recognise that. <laughs> KK it's K- fern. KK fern. <laughs> yeah, KK fern cotton. Could easily be an ambient track of some kind. Oh yeah. Um, every room has its own record player and music playing. I don't know what I think KK Condor is playing in here, which is my favorite KK great, great song. Track. Um, that's a great one. Um, yeah, that's this room. I think the, the rock, the, the stone stools work really well as Mm-mm. tables, like you were saying, you've been using them. I think that's that's a great tip for anyone who's annoyed by the lack of uh, tables, tables and stuff. Yeah, you've got, you've got an ironwood chair as a table over here as well i have yeah, yeah. um because that because sometimes it's like it's a bit too rocks there's too many rocks mm. also got log benches as tables um but i quite like the dark ironwood table like it sort of matches so yeah I let, it's just a stool i think it's not a table um but it works as a table the same so that is good then there's the wardrobe and the horse mackerel statue which i got from cj I'm yet to get any fish statues. I need to. I need to. It was only because, like, I only I had three horse mackerels at the time, so I was like, you know what? All right, I'll I'll give it a go. But I quite yeah. like it actually. It's quite sweet. I did a similar thing, but I've got ambitions to try and get something fancy, maybe like yeah. a, a koi statue. Oh, that'd be nice. Or, I mean, I, I try I, that next. I mentioned previously that I had uh, gotten the tarantula statue, and mm. I mean, I hear that <laughs> I hear that you might have taken your debut visit to tarantula it was island the worst week. experience of my whole life i swear i'm really scared of spiders and i was like okay it's, it seems all right there's like one here there's one there and then suddenly there was five of them and i was just it was so scary i had to keep running away and then i finished and i put it all away and i went to go and what did i do i went to go and see one of the cats i think and um just by the step, which I had to step over, was a spider the same size as a tarantula, just in the house. And I was like, it was like Vietnam flashbacks. It was awful. I was like, such a bad day that day. But I made lots of money, so that was good, um, at least. No, you know, you can put a price on fear. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, when when flicks in town, you can. <laughs> All right, let's go to, there's one more room in the house, which I sort of finished today. Which was quite good. Tim was saying, um, I like the colour palette of that room, and, and I'd agree. It, it was very sophisticated wallpaper you'd used. Thanks very much. It's a bit different this other room. Well, slightly. Yeah, it's putting my what I would refer to as a man baby mansion to shame. <laughs> this is like 
the music come writing room, the left hand Ooh. room. It's still got a sophisticated Ooh. feel, though. Mm. It sort of matches, but it's a bit darker. So everyone can play an instrument. David, you get on the drums, the this thing, the xylophone, the guitar Whoa. makes sound. Yeah. Absolute jamming. It's like we're at the Hornman Museum Park. There's a, it is. There's a, there's a <laughs> reference that pretty much maybe only 12, uh, 12 people <laughs> in the world might know. Um, apologies. I'll take a picture of those while we're here. This... Oh. Yeah, loving loving the kind of like really like green ambience of this like of this whole house. Well, this room especially. Shout out to the uh, to the woolly mammoth that's uh, <laughs> rampaging through the wall. Oh yeah, it's just sitting there, just um, having a good time. And the exit sign providing a bit of lighting and also you know a bit of Advice. contemporary <laughs> contemporary feel as well. It's actually yeah. not. And it's ironic because there's no exit there. I don't know why I put that up there. I think I quite just liked the colour of it against the dark wallpaper. Um, it works. The so fact... There's more KK art. The, I think my favourite KK art's up here, the one above the cypress bush. The like, one the track score, which is a bit embarrassing. Let's have a look. Um, I think this is KK Folk, maybe? Maybe it's the one with the sort of slight. Well, he's wearing the kimono. I think he's wearing a kimono. Yeah, I think this is KK yeah. KK Folk. Um, yeah. The reason I know this is because you know one of one of my new leaf projects, which I'm hoping to revive, is a KK slider exhibit in the museum. Oh. Um, Dim is wondering how much would it cost to get a woolly mammoth skeleton uh, in your house in real life? In real life. Yeah. Um, in pounds or in, in oh. pounds? Don't you just dig them up? If some if somebody wants to check on eBay how much a woolly mammoth skeleton costs, you know, do let us know. <laughs> uh, I've got a question for you, Amy. What do you type on your typewriter? Yes. Um, I type horror novel. Oh, oh of course. Uh, about woolly mammoths crashing through windows. Uh, you through just doors. stare at it, thinking for in- inspiration. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like you're writing like you're writing Cujo, but like about a woolly yes. mammoth. Okay. Who, oh. who the rabid woolly mammoths? <laughs> can, I, can I get a can I get a fourth book about woolly mammoths out, or am I going to have to start changing my main uh, antagonist? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, people I know ask, where are you getting all this cool stuff from? And then several question exclamation marks. In terror um, This this thing. Whatever it is. is, it a xylophone? It's a um, question. I, I I get confused about what what is a xylophone, what is a glockenspiel? Yeah, oh, a glockenspiel, something like that. That just someone gave me that. Someone, I think it might have been Tammy, gave me that. A lot of the stuff has been given by Islanders. Um, actually, Adam gave me the drum kit the other day, which was very good. Dim gave me that. Um, Love the yellow very one. Very nice of him. I've, I've got the yellow um, one as well. Yeah, the sofa was in the shop today. Um, and I don't know, a lot of the stuff I just, the typewriter was also from the shop. Um, and stuff just comes out of balloons. And that's. Oh, I've just, I I, I've just noticed, I haven't, because there's so, because there's like so much cool stuff there, but I've only just noticed that this rug is like a wooden rug. <laughs> yes, yeah. There's three rugs in the room. Um, the weird wooden one, uh, like a green one that matches the walls, and then a white, definitely from IKEA one. Um, <laughs> again, it was just. Sahara, you know, I just ask. I've got loads of rugs in my uh, storage that are just junk, so it's just like picking ones that match uh, the aesthetic okay. of the room, really. We've got several pieces of information on the chat. Uh, yeah. Dim thinks the wooden one is a glockenspiel. My pet Roxy <laughs> says it's a marimba. And then <laughs> your the, the kind of wood carpet, uh, my pet Roxy says, yeah. oh, it looks like a hatch, and Dim followed up. Is a hatch into a spooky basement? Uh, spooky. Is it a hatch See, into a spooky basement? See, that's why I'm writing the stories. Like, this is why the room where you write the horror story is because of the spooky basement hatch um, and spooky mammoth and kind of spooky wallpaper, really. But then also at the same time, you could do like a drum solo, so... Yeah. <laughs> Just let off some, let off some energy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ho has also confirmed that mammoth molars are £90, pounds, discounted from 175 Ooh. So if a molar oh, is 90 nice. quid, the body's got to be, you know, stonking. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can spend my turnip money in real life on that. I do wonder at some point. What's the bells to pounds? 
Well, is it going to be like World of Warcraft, where like you can sell your you can sell your save with uh, that has X amount of bells on it at some point? Who knows? Ah. I'm sure that's been happening already at some point. <laughs> Good lord! Where's Ho looking at for these uh, bones? Because now I kind of want to buy one. Ho, like where, where is it? eBay? I reckon it's eBay. Oh. Must be Probably the dark eBay. web, surely, to buy a mammoth. <laughs> Dude, every, everybody's feeling shortchanged by all your cool stuff. Oh, uh, ukge.com. I am looking at the chat. This okay. Thing yeah, because Sa- Sassy said all oh, he's no. getting are lawnmowers. I like lawnmowers. lawnmowers personally. I've got a lawnmower. I haven't ever got a lawnmower. Oh, I've got two if you want one. And uh, no, maybe I will. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, doodles by Ben feels that he's definitely been getting Sahara's offcuts. You know, obviously. You've, <laughs> but you've I've been got loads good of stuff. offcuts. Uh, it's really rare that I get something that I actually like. Like I've got the circle rug in a bright red and it's so ugly and it's, it's like, no, it's just sitting in my storage. How much would you buy from Sahara when she visits? I buy one of everything. Well, obviously she gives you one of everything, so I just buy it each. all. And then okay. it's like, let's see if I can fit it somewhere. Question, um, for, question for both of you. The the, mm. the small the small medium large rugs they're all random mm-hmm. two rugs I have barely been yeah. buying those I've just gone straight to my kind of basic basic B habit of <laughs> buying her wallpaper and floors because uh, that's that's my ingrained behaviour from trying to uh, get a certain, yeah. certain piece of wallpaper in New Leaf which I never got <laughs> I don't well, like um papers so much um so I just go for the rugs every time like. But you get vouchers for buying rugs, don't you? You do, yeah. So, so you, the... you can. Um, actually, I did use my vouchers recently, and I got that like the weird retro arcade flooring, which is quite oh, cool oh. if you've got a retro room in your house, I guess. Um, that sounds good. I'm still hunting for an arcade cabinet, which I know existed in New Leaf, but I don't I haven't seen it yet. In well, the arcade carpet, did you say? Cabinet. Yeah. Oh, cabinet. There's like yeah. a, there's like a Astro City style yeah oh yeah i've seen i've seen pictures of those online oh, I don't want one. Uh, there's so much stuff you see online you're just like why haven't i got that right. um which i guess is what, what people i know is saying rocks <laughs> 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 uh, oh roxy gives a great tip for like anybody mm. playing animal crossing like uh they they say i usually offload the rugs i don't like to my villagers and that is a that great... is an excellent idea. Yeah, Maybe I was, I'll do that actually. Yeah, I found that uh, villagers really loved getting uh, bunny day eggs. Yes, I know. I did, when you, you mentioned that, and I just started giving them the eggs all the time, they're like, wow, an egg, another one. You go into their house and it's just stacked full of eggs. <laughs> no one's left my island yet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's because you didn't have Kyle. <laughs> You're literally keeping them sweet. <laughs> yes, yeah. Aloof Kyle. Actually, I don't think I gave Kyle any eggs. Maybe that's why I left. Ah, oh, Kyle. So dreamy. So dreamy, though. All right. Should we have a look at if we leave? Yeah. yeah. Let's have another look around. Well, I mean, Maybe so, so far, I definitely would say, like, the theme I'm feeling from your island is, like, how to put it, well-designed, well-arranged, well-curated realness. If this was a if this was a category on Drag Race or, 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 <laughs> or a ball, well-designed realness. Yeah, I would love that to be my house in real life. It's... it's... It's well, why don't why don't you do it? I I have already known people that have. <laughs> to buy that, houses, that's shoebox. I mean, <laughs> I've already known people that are like buying clothes based on their Animal Crossing looks. Really? So, you know, why not why not arrange arrange your house that way? <laughs> um, this is a cool pond. It's like star shaped, and it often has koi in it, um, which oh. is quite nice. Uh, so, did, you, did you terraform it? No, no, no. It was it pre existed. That's why it's like near my house because it's like near the creepy. Whoa. Creepy woods that sort of matches the theme. Um, I heard you talk about why this. I, picked my island. I heard you talk about this this pond a lot uh, in the early days in in the chat. Mm. Was this where you were getting? I all get, this get coins. Uh, yeah, I get I get like a couple of coins a day, and I was like telling everyone, and then no one came to visit. So, <laughs> so well, I think Ryan did once, and then he caught a fish that I still haven't ever caught, and I was just really annoyed. Oh, did he? Um, did he give it to you? No, that's class. <laughs> that's classic Ryan. <laughs> yeah. That's classic Ryan. It's classic Ryan. Dim, um, Dim says the pond is shaped like Starfy, which is a uh, hot reference. <laughs> oh, the fish are a nightmare to catch. I uh, hate fishing. Oh, in the in ponds for sure. Oh, it's, oh, oh, no. it's, it's gone. Okay, it's I, I, like... I still haven't caught a koi. Oh well, next time, just come during the day and uh, let's go up here. So the rest of the island is kind of like 
I keeping it wild, but keeping it relaxed at the same time. So I'm not really into like, you know, like the solid structure paths and stuff. Um, yeah. And fl strict flower beds. Although I think those irons look amazing. And I think part of the reason why I don't do it is because it's too stressful for me. Like I can't think about that, that, that kind of order because I'm quite ordered in real life. So it's like, I just want to avoid being that tidy. Um, this is the beach. One of the many beaches here. Um, that's a bit boring. It's not boring. I love that you've got the magazine out for max relaxation. Yes. <laughs> and also I love um, that this is, this is, a, this is a lot. I like the, um, the river arrangement and how this is like a kind of like small pocketed beach. That's really mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Um, up here, there's this is sort of like, I was going to do like an orchid, but, um, an orchard, sorry. And I can't be bothered. So it just Quite starts. Good to have. Yeah, it's, there's some fruit trees there. Oh, you've got bees. <laughs> I've got bees. Let's Terrifying. go round. Let's do this bit first along here. So here's the okay. look, sort of like fiery flower leading to... Oh, it's Godzilla's hair. Oh, oh you've, got a, you've got a dark one with glowing eyes. He lives there. Um, oh, it's not really Godzilla. My one lives in fire. my house. Really? Yeah. My yeah. house is a bit small for that, but he's in his like fiery fields, which is quite sweet. Um, he overlooks cool. the witchy wood. Sometimes you don't see him, or sometimes you see him from really far away, which is quite funny. That's um, cool. Yes, here's the bees up here in that bamboo forest. I wish you could like, like hit the hive and they came out, but... <laughs> Yes. You wish that. The best that you can. Remind me never to go, never to go to a beekeepery. Is that what they? Was that what they call a honey farm with you? <laughs> beekeepery. Um, what a lovely bamboo lamp. Yeah, the bamboo lamp's really nice. Actually, I thought it sort of added to the. <laughs> Where's oh. David gone? Um, David's doing what he does when you go on a on a on a, on a sunny holiday with him, hiding in the like shadow. When you go to a, like a maze, maze, maze. A, a little fact about David is even the smallest sliver of a shadow he he will find, and oh, uh, we couldn't hear. No, <laughs> you you cut out there. You cut oh, out, no. so we don't know what the fact is. I always say facts about David is um, on a hot day. If you ever, if you've ever, if you if he's ever left your sight, just look for the the smallest sliver of a shadow. He'll be there. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> this moonlight is a bit bright, so I'm just going to stand behind this. <laughs> that that pallid alabaster skin is it gonna is it gonna look after itself? I, I can't I can't judge. We're the same we're the same we're the same shade of chalk. Is the man's relax? <laughs> Very. Uh, Did you just call it the man the, the man's the man relaxing? cave? <laughs> Actually, what this was was like where I kept my turnips before um before I went and sold them. They were in this little area, and then. Someone gave me this foosball table, and I was like, I'll just put it there. This, so, this is pretty cool. These manly-looking chairs next to it, and a flamingo, <laughs> which obviously it, the most manly item. It feels like a kind of cool, like contemporary park, or maybe something you'd found find like built on a tech, big tech campus. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go out and play some foosball, but like outside. David's really getting into it. Oh, well, the actual little match is playing. That's so cool. Yeah, so cool. you can play with the thing. Oh, yeah, the, ball, oh, no, the ball's ball, moving yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Dim, Dim I think it's genuinely working. I think it that's... is, This is probably the most detail I've seen in an object on... That's really Unless, cool. it, oh, unless the ball like... just goes in the same loop every time. I think... It... Oh, I think it does. It does, but, you know, it tricked us for five seconds. So. Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> I started to believe. Yeah, <laughs> same. Dim says it's very friends, you know, like F R I. -E it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I might get rid of it. I don't know. I just it was there for a little bit. Um, let's go. Let's Ooh. go up here first. Here's another relaxation Ooh. station. Um, Great access to water as well. Yeah. So if you want a drink but don't want to go to the pond, you can just use the well. Um, there's also music playing. I don't know what track's playing, but it's hidden behind this tree. So. Can't oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, um, it's it's like a it's it's, it's quite sinister actually. Like the, yeah, like yeah. an FBI have bugged the tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then along here is the like spa. Can I, sorry, yeah. I just want to say for a second that like I just want to say like you know the the little attention to detail with the occasional texture 
mm. is is really is really lovely to see and like that really adds to little rocks yeah for sure i think i think in a lot of towns uh, one one of the negatives of like of mm. custom textures is because they don't match the they don't exactly match the quality of the, no. of the textures the developers have made you've mm -hmm. i mean what you've done here with this eight pattern like path monstrosity yeah well, i'll see if i can I get the code for it again if anyone wants to use it it's like i'll find the user code oh that'd um, be amazing because the, 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 these look much much better than your average custom pattern and also the kind oh, of yeah. like scarcity with which you've employed the stuff also kind of like mm -hmm. adds to like how good and like not out of place it feels sorry i don't want to yeah. keep banging on about it but I just, no I'm, no it's, it's, it's a really, really good impressive. pattern like i was i was really like excited when i found it which is pretty good um but yeah here's the spa with the sinister looking tiki torches um <laughs> it's a shame you can't get into the like pool but you know what, oh, i can't get in because I've, I've got head to head to toe like <laughs> tattoos or whatever <laughs> um so really sad. oh this area it just it hasn't been Ooh, developed over here with flowers. some blue flowers that i stole mm. from the island, and oh, island i saw people i saw people on the um high school club animal crossing mm -hmm. whatsapp group mm -hmm. were obsessing about how hard it is to breed blue roses yeah i mean i don't breed flowers because again it's that stressful thing of like i i can't be bothered with that kind of detail um at the moment like it, i will do eventually but i went onto the island i got to the flower island and was just like they're so blue um I took <laughs> loads of them <laughs> i actually haven't seen the flower island yet have you not? No. I did. So this is a really weird thing. There was this weird like cheat that I saw on TikTok of all places because I love TikTok um, about how like you go and you sort of charm um, whatever the dodo's called his name now. Even what I'm earlier. Wilbur. Um, not that one. The one at the desk. Orville. Orville. Yeah. You sort of talk to him until he blushes, and then like you you get he after that he takes you to the island and i was like what? i'm gonna try that yeah, yeah so the, it was like a weird sort of um hack thing where you walk into the airport with a watering can and then you talk to orville um like you just you do the emote so i was like clapping at him and then he started to blush and then you talk to him and then he takes you to the flower island and i he saw does. it and i was like i'm gonna try that and i tried it and it worked and i was like what? oh my god this is amazing so i told some people and they were like it doesn't work and then i was like what it it worked for me and then it got like debunked the, they sent me a link to like a thing that was like this doesn't work and i was like it literally just worked it was <laughs> really strange i just got randomly really lucky um but i haven't been back since so uh i'm waiting for the day for more blue flowers i mean i may start, i may breed them i did have accidentally breed like a black lily i think it was oh. it's by my witch's forest because i was just i had too many flowers so witchy someone called feruza bulk <laughs> <laughs> um let's go this way um how's how's good sammy says she also tried that but she forgot her watering can um yeah Did it Oh, I did, did, did made a cool little comment about your about the music playing by your relaxation much. area, how it reminds yeah. him of how they hide speakers to play music all around Disneyland. That is exactly what it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so over here is uh, the duck picnic. Oh, area. yes, of course. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, one thing people should know about you in real life is that you know, have quite an affinity and relationship with ducks, right? Yes. <laughs> Although I had a bad time releasing, we had some ducks and the other day I had to release them into the wild, which is quite weird. <laughs> um, yeah, is, it a bit, is it a bit like Free Willy? A little bit, yeah. We had some ducklings. They, they weren't very old, they were only about a few months, four or five months old, um, but they were absolute monsters, like really terrorising the other ducks and the chickens that we had. Um, and they weren't domesticated, like they didn't have names or anything like that. We were like over the weekend last weekend we were like we can't have these ducks anymore they're just a nightmare like one of our poor ducks had a big swollen eye like my favorite duck had a swollen eye um she kept getting picked on so we found this really nice like nature reserve there was nothing there apart from a few geese and some hens and we were like let's just leave the ducks here so like a day later went and just drove the ducks in some boxes and just set them free and they just flew off like into the other lake swam away Oh. that was it they're gone <laughs> i mean they 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 can they can survive we did a lot of research beforehand so they're they're gonna be okay but 
They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Ducks are super robust. Yeah, um, uh, they're very big. Uh, as anybody well. that's ever been ch- been been chased by a, a duck, you know, could attest to. So, uh, ho- hose clock this, and I think this is testament to how like uh, how high your texture game is. Mm. But she's clocked that this this rug is a texture. It's, it's, it's a, is. It's yeah. a custom. Te- it's a couple of custom it's, textures. It's a cus- It's custom edges, and I mean, I'm gonna. I will get all the codes for my textures actually, and I'll I'll put them in the group because some of the stuff is really nice. Like this rug, I saw it again on like an Instagram post, but they hadn't commented what the actual um, uh, tartan texture code was. So I literally like spent a good like half hour like scouring the internet and when i found it i was like oh my god i found it i found the rug texture <laughs> good. Just cry, crying tears of joy yeah i found some great i've got them on my um other ones are good jumper textures i'll put on this really ugly jumper that i got which is very nice oh yes a beautiful jumper um and then my other favorite is the, which i think of my old friend greta uh, who I used to live with at Dim Knows Greta and Joe Knows Greta. Like, she posted this on her Instagram. It's like, I'm having that. Nice. Weed and jumper. Um, I just, I just clocked your phone texture as well. This is texture oh goodness, everything. Yeah. It's kicking let, like, like, let me get a close... Yeah. Keep, it, keep it there. I'm going to get a close-up. I'm going to get a close-up of that. Wait. I'm going to... Wait, I need to move around to get a close-up of the phone. I think I need to be on this side. Sorry, my camera, my cameraman skills are, are not yet uh, super. super good. <laughs> but is this is this the closest I can get? Oh, it's the closest. Well, I can wait, get. do you want me to come out? Let me come out into the. Uh, oh yeah, if the you wild just, area. yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. I'll stand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh wait, let me flip and face the camera again. That'll so do. that's the, probably the closest people are going to see it. So <laughs> that's that's quite incredible. <laughs> that's quite yeah. incredible. Ah, oh, look at this! So good. Every everything's custom. <laughs> what else? Yeah. So, how? What other stuff have you been experimenting with customizing, um, um, object-wise? Object. So I do. Mm-hmm. Let me have a look on my custom designs. What I've got. Yeah. So there's a the flooring. Also the. Um, I'll show you some more paths later when we walk around. And there is some. Um, the custom the hammock that we were in earlier. Let's oh, yeah. go back to that. That had a custom texture on it. I'll show you that. It's oh yeah. Strange. While we while we walk there, dim as dim as clocks uh, the contents of my inventory, which I will show people. Uh, <laughs> what sorry? On the so, yeah. Dim's clocks the contents of my inventory, oh. uh, <laughs> and it's basically it's a it's probably about seventy percent uh, trees. <laughs> uh, that was mine uh, this week. Sort of yeah. Um, so um, yeah, so it's all yeah, it's all to do with the it, the my my various projects. Yeah, this is a nice. It's got like bears on it, but I think this is similar to a custom texture you can actually get in game um, for like the log chairs um, and things. Um, oh, that's very nice. Uh, Alright, to see. Let's go explore more of the island, and then I'll show you to the um, island as well. Yeah. I feel like I need to go through my storage and just just find out all of the objects which might be customised because at the moment it's only yes, yeah. by chance if I happen to be wanting to customise something else yeah, and I realise that an object is customisable uh, but actually we should, should know because it should show, it, it shows should you say, uh, I always yeah. just try and like anything that I get that I like I'm like I'm going to see if I can customise it so it's mm. like <clears throat> I'll buy something and then if I can't customise I can't customise it but I'll check anyway just in case because you know it might be nice to have a different colour um, so, I love that little so, pathway, by the way. Very nice. Well, isn't it? More custom patterns. Let's go up here. This is the last of the sort of like finished oh. sort of areas. Um, up here, the lighthouse and. Oh, oh, you've got the blue stripe. It's one of the, the best blue, ones. The blue stripes is in demand. I'm constantly <laughs> seeing it come up on like the chat. Like, who's got the blue stripes? Oh, um, blue stripes, the yellow, are my fave. Yeah, is there a yellow one? Yes, a yellow a, one. Uh, Doodles by Ben uh, hooked uh, me up with a yellow one, which I passed yeah. on to my my, my wonderful wife. <laughs> yeah, if I I'm gonna see if I can get a yellow one off him, and then um, if you, well, if you can make the stripe blue, let me know if let me know if you if you need anything. Yeah. Um, Ho's got a black and white one that fits her goth vibes. You mentioned <laughs> the goth vibes of Fire Island. That um that cool rock. Which is yeah. a cool rock, which you can make. It was given it. to me by Bones. It was the best present I've ever been given. Um, 
because obviously Bones is the best character. It went pride of place there. A tulip. It's very cool. It's kind of got that like bit, little bit of water, perfect for a yeah. dog to drink from. So maybe that's what Bones oh, was thinking. Maybe that is. Yeah. If you get a hot bottom in the summer, <laughs> you're sitting there. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Down. that's a classic well, body cooling in there. rock. Yeah. It was a little bit like a B day, like a natural B day. Yeah, could be. Um, I know you love a B day, Mark. I, well, okay, maybe this is not the stream to get down to get down to that on, but yes, it is true. I'm a I'm a strong advocate for B days and B day <laughs> B day uh, B day. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Acquisition. B <laughs> day development, something like that. <laughs> and then there's another well if you need water, but you know. the creepier well. The creepier well next door. If the door wells are connected, you. you could use them to shout down. And... You could, yeah. Send messages Walkie to talking. each other. Yeah. <laughs> the Sadako yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> the ring. That is, yeah, that's what it's for. So, yeah, that's sort of that area. It's, it's the rest very, is very like... lovely. When I get like, I haven't unlocked terraforming yet, but like, I don't really want to mess like, with the island. Like, I really like the layout of the island. So. I saw, I saw this topic come up. In, I suppose it's, it ties mm. into David's topic of customization too. I saw mm. this topic come up in the group today, and mm -hmm. it, it's it's true. It's almost you know, obviously this this Animal Crossing has given us more power than ever before to yeah. control things. And in some ways, it's really, really lovely. Like, obviously, we've never been able to kind of dress the outside before, and that's super mm -hmm. good. But at the same time, you know, maybe too much, too much customization power leads to madness. And I've definitely uh -huh. tried to keep it to a minimum on my island, but you know, occasionally I go mad, and next thing you know, I've ruined acres, <laughs> ruined acres it, of the yeah. island. I think, I think with these, all of these things, my imagination is a bit limited as to what could be possible, and so yes. I, I kind of discount it because yeah. I, I really love the layout of my island, and I, I think to myself, no, I don't want to. Change, I don't it, want then, to change it earlier today i saw philippa who we had on the on the stream a few weeks ago uh had shared um some clips on twitter of of what she's been doing with mm. uh, terraforming and it was incredible she'd made it this secret caves wow using oh, I, I think and, i probably have a screenshot yeah. of that in in my camera let me see if i can find it and that was so i good. see a like, lot of stuff on like reddit where i'm like Oh, that's just amazing but i just yeah. you're right like i feel like my imagination is quite limited when it comes to uh, doing this kind of stuff but you know i've got all the time in the world to play with it so oh, I, I yeah exactly know. i thought I, I thought i'd taken a a screenshot but i guess i haven't <laughs> oh well sorry oh well shout out to okay. everybody that wanted to see my switch menu <laughs> i feel like Where it's you going? When you're on a, a work call and you start, mm. to, you see someone else's desktop when they're sharing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's on there? <laughs> uh, ring fit. You know, everybody. What just yeah. you know, just a little pause here to give myself a pat on the back for for burning exactly 15 calories yesterday in, in ring fit. <laughs> yep. All right. Should we go and see um, Marina? Yes. yes. Her house. High school club Marina's, favorite. Yeah, it's going to say hair. a popular character. Mm. A popular villager. She was very cute. I've got she... a lot of cute characters. Oh, this garish house, though. She was on the toilet, <laughs> <laughs> dispersing <laughs> her fruit, her fruit, her fruit powers. Oh my god! Oh, my, that was oh, weird. oh this, this, this wallpaper is like uh, 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 Sahara's chocolate wallpaper, except it, <laughs> yeah, in, it's in, pink. In, in like picture, oh the little automatic toilet. Excuse well, me. That, I mean. When I came in, that lid was closing, so that means she was just uh, <laughs> can we, on can, the toilet. <laughs> can we talk about? What is the deal with the world of Animal Crossing and why do people love to furnish their houses with toilets out in the open? I don't know. I mean, they are studio apartments. That's true, They yeah. don't have much choice. You put a screen up at least. I I'm going to get her a screen and I'll put it up. I think I mentioned I did give one of my villagers a urinal mm. and that's just in his, in his house. He's very proud of it. That's very sweet. I want this bath. <laughs> oh, it's a very nice bath. Dim, oh, yeah. Dim, uh, Dim has uh, mentioned that the that the wallpaper looks like the losing screen from Um Jamalami, which is <laughs> very true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um Jamalami would fit right in an Animal Crossing. Yeah, I think she, we she could feels... get this. She would look weird in like completely two D, but like it'd be quite funny. So quite sweet. Oh, sorry, I should I should talk to Marina. Have any of your villagers given you a nickname yet, Emmy? 
Um, they haven't yet, although um, Bones was talking the other day about calling himself Emmy Junior, and I call a lot of my like devices Emmy Junior. Like my phone's called that; it always pops up um, when people are on Zoom chats. And I was like, "How do you know Bones? How do you know that's mm. the name?" Um, so that was quite weird. Um, but they haven't known in the previous game, which I think I mentioned before when we were doing the villager rate. Um, Tabby used to call me pop star, which was I quite liked as a nickname because you know everyone wants to be a pop star. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I haven't got any yet. I felt like nicknames and catchphrases used to be mm. a much bigger thing in the yes, older games, yeah. or maybe they just introduced it earlier in your in your play. But just this week, um, one of my villagers, uh, Bon Bon, yeah. asked if I wanted to, wanted a nickname, and I was like, oh. yeah, sure. And she said, yeah. Shmoopy. <laughs> and I was wondering if Shmoopy was a coincidence or if yeah. that was if if they've got a special thing where they'll look at the first and last letters of your name because if that and is just... the case that was really good fun yeah Shmoopy. i know that i know that um judith my, my 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 wife uh she uh she one of her villagers uh, asked her asked her what nickname she would like and she said nerd and now it's spreading <laughs> and more of her villagers are calling her nerd Yes, um, I've noticed that. Yeah, now Schmoopy is spreading in my my town as well. Oh, what a house! Yeah, Doc's house is amazing. Now Doc's got a bit of privacy for his toilet. Yes, look, you can see it. Well, I mean, did, just... did you give this? Did you give the toilet all the toilet cleaning? No, to no, him? he moved in like oh. yesterday, I think. So he's done this all himself. This is like the second time I've been in this house. I, I want to say um, something. I want to say something about him. Grandma phone. That probably you know is gonna. You know, sorry, I've just seen the toilet you two were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a periodic table above it. I get vibes like he's the uh, he's the you know the 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 main character in the in the TV show You. Yes. I'm getting You <laughs> vibes. You vibes. vibes. Well, he was like this. stalking my house with his magnifying glass, so I think he's like he's probably there's something off about Doc. I like him a lot. I like his house a lot. Um, this this is one of the best villager houses I have ever seen. Yeah, yeah. it's it's cool AF. It's uh, really good. People I people I know has clocked the periodic table next to the loo and is calling yeah. it the periodic oh, table. <laughs> um, Dim says he wants the gramophone so the much. The gramophone is really good, isn't it? I really want that. Um, I don't know, how, like it's annoying that you can't like go into uh, a villager's house and be like, "Can I have that?" Like, just ask them for it and they <laughs> Maybe send it. Maybe you really good. Either well, really good friends, or if they're scared of you, am I, you start yeah. to be able to do that. Am I imagining this, or is there? Was it used to be the case that villagers would would when you would approach a villager, they would sometimes ask for something in your inventory, or have, have I have I fabricated that? Can you say say that again, Martin? Have I fabricated yeah. that in the past? In past Animal Crossing games, villagers can kind of ask for things within your inventory. I think I can't that's remember. true. I feel like yes, but yeah. Because I should go it the way around. I used to be worried that they might just take something really important. Mm. I feel like that's order. mine. You can't take that. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it, it maybe in Pocket Camp, you can look at another player's stuff mm -hmm, in, their, mm -hmm. in their little um, campsite or whatever, or at least in their camper van, and it will tell you what it is. And you might even be able to order it. I think. I think you could do or, that, yeah. Or am I thinking about the campsite in New Leaf? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That's maybe that's There's it. too in many the, games. Maybe, yeah. Too... <laughs> well, if I mean, you like... visit the camper of another character in New Leaf, I think you can stuff. On that <laughs> I think that's how. It works. Uh, yeah, Doodles by Ben is is confirming in New Leaf you can look at the house inventories and order stuff. Yeah. I think in the in the Happy Home in in, Dig, in Digby's area, I think. Right. Is that right? I, I didn't play Happy Home. Oh, um, uh, I, I mean, I meant uh, New Leaf, yeah. So it, New Leaf. Oh, New Leaf, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in New Leaf at the like the the northernmost point on the like main yeah, street. Yeah, Digby lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Digby, by the way. I love Digby. I said Digby's not in this game, or he may turn up at some point. I don't know. I've not Fingers seen him. I tried to summon Digby using the amiibo. Yeah. Thingy, and it said that he was busy. Oh. So we don't know what that means. Yeah, hose clock. Ho Digby in the raincoat. Yeah, Digby in the in the raincoat. Oh, I'm all about that. Yeah, love that. This, um, um, yeah, so many people in the chat love this house. It is amazing. It's really good. That um, I think I saw Ho saying she likes the chair. I think I have a spare of that chair. Maybe 
a lounge chair. I'll have to check. The uh, office chair thing. It's so good. I just want all the stuff. Give me. Give me. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Hook us up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right. it. Off the dock. I'm just pleased to know that Doc's got all the equipment he needs for cleaning that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he looks, he looks responsible. He looks responsible. <laughs> um, Let's go up here. I'm going to see Bones so if he's in. He doesn't look like he's in. I hope he's not oh. asleep. What's it Bones say? Don't be asleep. Oh, he's Bones. out on a snack run. So okay. he'll be out somewhere. Let's, let's find um, Bones. And Sabi can't look at it in his house though because it's just got like dirt floors <laughs> and oh. a really cute little like owl statue in there, which is cute. Oh really yes, cool. I know them. Yeah. I know them. That's all. Was he one of your first villagers? No, he wasn't actually. Oh. I saw him on an island and was like, "You are coming to my island." Um, my first villagers were Flo and Dom, which I'm sure he would see them at some point. They'll be about somewhere. Um, let's go down here though. I don't know where any of my villagers live. Oh, they might be. That's Tammy's house. So we've seen Tammy, so she's out. Oh, yeah, Tammy's cool. Um, Big Tammy. This fan. is Flo's house. Flo's not in either. Where are they? Everyone's all? out. Are are they they... Having a party? We, 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 you did mention previously we might end up in the museum. Maybe they're all in the museum. Yeah, maybe they are. This is Dom's house. He's in. Let's go okay. and see him. He, I gave him a t shirt with a bunny rabbit on. He wears it quite a lot, but it's really stretched. It's really funny. Oh, then he's wearing it now. <laughs> Ho and people I know are asking if they're if they're seeing KK, but Emmy, I don't I don't think you've completed Project K. Yet. No, I think KK is coming tomorrow, perhaps. Um, I wish they were seeing KK. It'd be good to see KK. Um, Dom is intense. Dom is so intense. I would say I was as we were setting up, up earlier. I was telling you guys that Dom was chatting to Bones, and they were like flirting, and I thought it was very sweet. Um, I recorded it, so you know. Uh, but yeah, he's cute. He was he's he's like really sweet looking, and then he's just like really all about balls and training. And he's got an umbrella up, which I gave him. He's left it open in his house, which is bad luck. Um, but hmm. like, you know, it's nice. <laughs> That's clock. bad luck. I've I've got very bad luck. So I've got a little collection of umbrellas. Oh well. By my door in Animal Crossing, I should say. I, I <laughs> had to stop buying umbrellas because I was just buying every umbrella in the shop because they all they were just so cute. They are really cute. I I think I bought that one and it was chucking it down with rain and Dom didn't have an umbrella, so I gave it to him and he just put it in its house, which is you know fine. Yeah, that, you if that's know. what you want to do unmistakable right. original villager vibes in this house yeah oh, i like tom very oh, he's fine they're all quite cute so um i let them stay really apart from the the weird squirrel that moved in but let's leave dom's house cause... <laughs> dom's blocking the exit dom doesn't want us to leave dom, get out. it's classic dom behavior <laughs> oh, everyone is tammy again Oh, there's Flo. She's on the beach, so we just walk forwards. She's got this great, ugly jumper. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she was there when I started as well. Oh, Flo, March of the Penguins realness. <laughs> <laughs> they, thank you. <laughs> Dim, Dim gave me the good advice on the chat to talk to them, talk to them twice. So uh, ju just in case they want to give me a recipe. Uh, Flo, tell me about your title, that you're the partially obscured talent. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like, you know, when they just come up. I think that just, oh, did it come up? No, no, I did that search for it. I, I need keep meaning to change it because when you get more tags they're often funnier but i just keep yeah I'm, 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 I'm sticking with internet clown for now I'm yeah <laughs> so cool person <gasps> there's bones oh, oh, hey. bones. Look, hey. oh hey. i've spoken to him so much today he's just like it's really cool to speak to you so much today oh some you of my villagers just give me the whole like sassy sassy like uh yeah. i'm trying to get him wait so i can see him hey bones, bones. man stop hiding bro oh there we go yeah yeah He's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. 
his little jumper. And when he walks around with a sandwich, I'm oh. just like, oh my god. He looks oh, physics on his, his ears. What, sorry? The physics of his ears. It's so good. And I wanted him to come out of the house today so I could take a picture with him. So I kept going into his house and then leaving straight away. And he was just doing that question mark thing like, oh. And I just was just getting so upset. I didn't want to upset him. He's telling me how lovely he's... the oranges are on this island. Oh, he's so cute and wholesome. Bobo. If he ever leaves. He shall sure. never leave. He shall never leave. What are we looking for? Uh, whose house is it? Oh, this is New Guy's house. Oh, so, Static. Let's go and see Static. Yeah. Oh, you give Static a little amplifier? Yeah. So it was sweet. out in the rain earlier, so it probably doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> see Static. You can talk to Static. Cause... Funny. Oh, he's, okay. he's barely on pack. He's got an edgelord carpet. He looks like a bit of an edgelord. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that all that carpet. <laughs> it's mad. Oh, look at this! It's like it's it's like it's like the the lobby of an energy drinks brand. <laughs> or of a cursed weather spoon. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's cool. What's he talking about? He's uh, he's just telling me that he's getting set up. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. He's uh. Uh, he's just telling me that he's you know getting set up in his new spot. Uh, very very curious choice of walls. The con the exposed <laughs> concrete. Yeah. Uh, I've just started using this this wallpaper in my in my house. I feel like you could um, you could fill the floor with bathroom tiles and bathroom implements, uh, furniture. Sorry, and it could be like saw, like the first saw film. Oh, um, there's that's what the, it looks like. There's a Halloween theme for Scoots. Yeah. The saw room. <laughs> uh, Dim's flagging it looks like a padded cell wall. It doesn't well, look so like a padded could, cell. Yeah. Fly me. Move, static, move. Yeah, come on, move. static. Move. All right. Well, he's, his house is boring. Back, so. yeah. look for, well, well, I look forward to our second visit where hopefully he'll still be. <laughs> yeah. Here. I don't know where Sylvana is, but let's. Should we go check out the museum? Yes. Let's go and look at that. Well, we'll at least look at the dinosaurs. Oh, there she is. She's wearing a jumper that I gave her that I have one of as well. She's just on this tree. Oh, she's, she's tiny. Cute. She's so cute. This might be the smallest villager I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Hazel, who's a squirrel too. Yeah. I don't, Hazel, I had Hazel in New Leaf, um, and she wasn't, I don't think she was as tiny as Sylvana. Um, no. She always wears that jumper. Occasionally I wear that jumper as well, so much. Oh, interesting. Uh, Sylvana is asking me if I've toured your museum. It's oh, a place with lots knows. to offer. <laughs> she works there. Maybe. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So here's the museum. There's that skeleton. I think Adam's got one of these outside. His on his oh, own. Well, well, he's got a version of this. The, 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 oh yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah for anybody that cool. had that uh, missed that episode, it's on our YouTube channel at the moment. Come be our seventy-six subscriber. <laughs> you know, we need we. You know, eventually we'll get that silver YouTube plaque. <laughs> you will get there. Um, I'll just keep creating like multiple accounts. <laughs> so you, so I just, so I've, I've never done a group museum visit before. Uh, Have you I've, not? Ne I've oh. never seen, no, I've, apart from in the Nintendo Direct where they announced the yeah. museum, I've never yeah. seen, I haven't seen. The... Do you want to go and look around the museum? It, uh, it's, only it's if, only if you want, only if you feel that we should uh, see the other wings. If, I if feel we're... like you should at least see the dinosaur wing because okay. it's pretty impressive. I'm, um, I'm saving myself for, for when uh, when there's a show with somebody who wants us to, to see the fish and the butterfly. Sorry? I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm saving myself for when 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 a guest wants to uh, show yeah. us their official butterfly collection. Um, but I mean, cool oh, stuff. Look at this so complete. Yeah, I don't know what those two things are. Um, I'll get them eventually. Maybe they're microscopic. <laughs> Maybe they're fleas. <laughs> Fossil fleas, yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, the, it's where the Oscars for Jurassic Park, uh, Lost World, <laughs> and Jurassic Park Three. Okay. So the cool thing about the, this, uh, the dinosaur bit, if you come here, if you stand on this blue dot, you get a view of like Ooh. all the museum. 
it's cool like i think i got the this guy complete today um but i was just like oh my god it's so good it's so wild to see um, it's, it's such a small thing but it's so wild to see your um, your kind of villages so small mm. it's yeah, yeah, so yeah. cool like the scale of it against it it's so much nicer than like the new leaf museum which was I mean, impressive. they they really went nuts, like, with this. It's so amazing. The, the when up- I first saw the museum, I, I actually, it wasn't my own. Like, I went, I was on Ryan's Island beforehand, and he was like, come look at the museum. And I was like, just so gobsmacked. Like, it's so amazing. Yeah. Even when it was just the just started. Empty, yeah. 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 It just really yeah. feels like a museum. Uh, it really does. It's it's really nice. What are your favourite, just, just so we know, what's your favourite dinosaur? Uh, this one, the big one in the middle, the Brachiosaurus. The... Oh, wait, and I, I like. I need to go stand on the dot again. <laughs> stand on the dot so you can see it. I also like this little guy over here. I'll wait for you to finish. Okay. He's he's the um. Oh, he... what's he called? Oh. That little 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 scoots. This it's, is um... uh, the Jer Jer Jeremiah. Is that what it's? Oh, I'm not sure, but this is. If anybody on the chat uh, looked at the tweet that Dim sent earlier of. Uh... Mm of dom in the museum that's very sweet he's, oh. he's looking at this exact dinosaur. oh is he looking at it um go in here who says her dream would have been to design this museum yeah it's really cool um there's mama a lot yeah it's it looks really nice when it's like it looks nice when it's not filled, but it looks extra nice when it is yeah, filled. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen any of this filled. Like I saw it um, when I like maybe well sorry I, I when I got to about twenty five percent fossil completion I had a look. Like, yeah. This oh it's so amazing to see us all together in the museum as well. It's really nice to have like people around to like look through your museum and stuff. It's uh, it's such an interesting like. I don't know, thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Rover? Is this Rover? Is that Rover's silhouette? Some of them are. There's a, a, a Bones one. Oh, no, they, yeah, I guess, yeah. So uh-huh. I'm like Bones because my life. But like, yeah, but there's... It, how many kangaroos are there? You know what I mean? This yeah, is, a, like, is this Apollo? Who knows? <laughs> it could be. What's the other birds called? I forgot Bird. what the other eagle's called. But yeah. I'll, Obviously, we did we did decide that Apollo was the sexy eagle in the, <laughs> yeah. in the WhatsApp the other day. All right, well that's it. That's the museum. Um, I won't show you the other bits, so you can you can save them. Okay, so I'll, I'll save that for future. Yeah. All the dip. Go. I need a few more fossils to finish it. Really, it's like Sh- seven. Sh- Shrinky's a. Uh... Shrinky's wearing a new hat. <laughs> yeah, I was wearing it to fit in with the the cat still. Uh, oh, oh, looking look good. My cat. It looks great. <laughs> it's exactly the same. I I bought it because I've got Kiki in my Kiki. Uh, it's a kind of I dark think I was purple Peter with the pink wrong. with the pink yeah. ears, and we match. But Kiki didn't seem to notice when I spoke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. So we're well, back outside. It, really. Yeah, we're back at the, the woods. So that's well, it. We've toured the whole island. Well, thank you for having us. That I mean, this okay. was a, thanks for coming. This is an amazing first adventure to Scoots. That just to just to mm. recap, we learn about the importance of um, of good color theming in home design. Yes. <laughs> uh, we learn about the the things that you can do with custom textures and especially multi part textures. Mm-hmm. I have um, to get those texture codes and stuff for everyone. We learned that Bones, of course, is one of the cutest Animal Crossing villagers of all time. Bones, I love Bones. I think Bones is the cutest like villager ever. No one's cuter than Bones. Okay, we're gonna put we we're gonna need to put that to a vote at some point. Is Bones <laughs> the cutest? The cutest Doc, villager. Dog has an incredible house. Dog has an amazing house. Oh, and yeah. a, slight a great ser- bathroom partition. Slight you serial killer vibes though, you know. <laughs> Slightly, but S- swings swings of roundabouts. Um, so Emmy, have you got anything you would like to plug? Social media, 
social media pages anything like that um i use instagram mostly that's at all right mousy i post animal crossing stuff on there sometimes stories um that's kind of it really i don't really use twitter though i'm on there but i don't use it very often you can still find me i, I tweet like once a year um that makes it sound or... even more special it yeah. is yeah it's always around the same kind of dates although i forgot this year but it's you know and then when joining in the animal crossing rate um, <laughs> but yeah it's uh <coughs> excuse me oh bless That's you it, yeah <laughs> Uh, okay. you, you, must, you clearly must be allergic to custom textures. <laughs> or visitors. <laughs> or, or... Yeah, visitors. Visitors with knockoff merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shrinky, where can people find you? Uh, on Twitter at Shrinkwrapped if they want to. Um, but I recommend finding and following High School Club at High School Club if you haven't yes, already. Yes, definitely. And we would, of course, be remiss to mention that uh, none of this would be possible without. Uh, without david's uh amazing podcast astal which uh, you the can... best podcast thank you best thank podcast you. you heard yeah. it you heard it here <laughs> um, which can be found on on most podcast uh, podcast places uh, but if uh, and also our youtube channel uh where we we upload these streams after after we stream uh, every week like i mentioned come be our 76 subscriber you know <laughs> Um, we're gonna we'll just throw in PewDiePie at some point. I'm certain of it, um, <laughs> or T Series, whatever the top channel is now. Um, so as <laughs> promised, I will. Uh, I've, I'm posting a link to uh, the High School Club Discord in the chat. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, uh, every week when we stream, 8 p.m. BST, uh, we will post Saturdays. Saturdays. Saturdays, of course, we'll post a link to the Discord in the chat, and uh, yeah. So you can find me on on uh, Instagram too at at Steenton. Um, so that's the end of the stream. Thanks, Emmy. Hope that's you'll invite okay. us back. Of course, everyone is always welcome to this island. I'm so, as well. from yeah. the three of us <laughs> on the island of Scoot, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate <laughs> another week of New Horizons, this has been Ast Town on Tour. <laughs>